again welcome back to another daily binding of isaac binding of isaac repentance it is uh why was they blanking the date i just had it in my mind september 17 2022 right just a little tired you might be wondering well what happened you're continue here if you didn't see the last episode i was talking about uh evidently the mod wiped out my uh <laughs> thing right there so we do a fresh run, unfortunately. Cedars BW8C1R24. And you know what? Maybe it's for the best. I could have probably just got, went on ad infinitum, honestly. And it would have been a okay. I mean, I could have went ad infinitum. I probably would have like one of the longest runs in history. If I just kept going, didn't install any mods, use any mods or whatever, and because like it was a modless run, which what that was, and so when I installed Team Folio and other ones, I imagine it wiped it out, which I had a feeling it was, and I wasn't too concerned with it too, so whatever. Besides, I've been wanting to do some more random Eden runs, anyways. I was getting kind of bored not doing random stuff. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's fun to do, like, Fiend Folio, uh, Fiend Folio, because I was just calling it, like, Team Folio, which I, I keep forgetting. It's Fiend Folio. Folio. And so, uh, yeah, so there's that. I had a good run today. Got back just in time before the rain started hitting again. I'm like, thank goodness. The timing was just like, so close. Doing some uploads right now with um, Isaac episodes because I ran out of backlog stuff and so I have to fill it up some more. So this one's gonna last about two weeks. I gotta finish uploading like tomorrow or something. Or maybe tonight, I might just finish up tonight and just get everything done and over with because i'm gonna have to make some backlogs for october because october is gonna be jam-packed with stuff i gotta do a whole bunch of stuff i gotta do so it's gonna be a busy month so you might not see as much vampire survivors I mean, it might just end pretty soon. I don't know. Depending if we get any more updates. Because right now, I pretty much got, like, all the updates done. Like, all the achievements already today. And so, uh, I got, like, a couple of extra videos. But that's it. Like, as of right now, it's going to stretch on to, like, late September. So, yeah. And I don't want to start, like, a new series for, like, games or something right now. Because, uh... Some things that's coming up in October, so maybe the middle of October I could do something new if I've got the time. But it's gonna, it's just gonna very well depend on like my schedule and how everything's gonna be. But just kind of stay tuned. By the time this video comes out, I imagine it'll be in October because from what I can judge with like how I got things set up with my backlogs right now. I haven't even uploaded all my videos yet. This might come out in October. So if it does, happy October. <laughs> and in September ended, wake up. All right. That's kind of a nice fresh start to get back into things here too with uh, Random eat-in runs without the fiend folio stuff that sometimes makes my hair pu get pulled out or something. Feels like I want to pull my hair out, I mean. Because, like, it's like new things I got to learn with it, and it's like, oh, boy. Look at this enemy. Haha, -ha, look at this uh, new item. Haha. -ha. So I have no mods on right now at this at this time. Because I already know where mo what most of the items and trinkets do. And I say most, not all of them, but... There's been times where I forget about some things, but whatever. 
I, I don't think I'm going to need them. All right. I guess we go fight the Duke of Flies. Yeah, today it's just been running, run, run, runny, 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 run, run, run. And also the Stairmaster. Which, I mean, it was okay, but did 10 minutes instead of like the standard like five minutes I was doing on them. So I can get like extra strength in my back of my legs and everything else. Cause I think I need it. Cause I've noticed that uh, past few months or so that uh, when I've been climbing up these like stairs and everything, these long stairs on these hills and stuff like that, it, I have some difficulty, which it's like, very strange for someone my age. And I'm running, despite the fact that I'm running and going up and down hills. Because I'm running at times too. So I might have just been lacking some strength in some areas. With my legs. So that's why I'm doing the stair lift. Now, of course, I can probably just go outside and just find stairs at random places and do my exercises there, but Stairmaster. Oh. I mean, I don't own a Stairmaster because they're just super expensive and tedious of build and set up, and then you got to find a place for them and stuff. It's... I mean, it's worth it if you got the money. Because then you don't even have to go to the gym or anything for that. So that's why I'm going to the gym again. But only for like that. I might go around and uh, use the the uh, treadmill for the special kind of like hit training stuff. But I'm not going to fully rely on that after what happened in 2020. <laughs> so I'll take it away from you when you're so dependent on it. And then, and then you have to find other ways to exercise. Hence why I started building a gym since last year. Here. Which I, I'm glad I did because now I can lift by myself. I mean, I, I mean, you can lift by yourself in general when you're at the gym. But what I mean is like, you can lift without having to worry about closing times, special holidays, or even people who use the machines. And I had issues with that i mean I, I think it's very common for people to have issues with that someone's using the machine and you have to wait or they close early because of holidays or some other thing going on or or my favorite one where like there's a special event that goes on that day for like some obscure group or whatever <laughs> that that you know rents the space out for whatever and then they close down the gym without telling you that they're gonna close it down for that particular day. So you go there, you you show up, and then all of a sudden you find out, oh, it's closed up. And that's what it was like last Saturday. I was gonna go there to use the treadmill after I found out that it was raining outside. And I can't go running if it's raining. And so I walked there and not only to find out everything was shut off just for this like whatever kind of obscure event was going on and I'm like okay well I guess I just go home and not run for the day haha -ha. and now I could buy a treadmill I mean I bought a a bike a motion I don't know motion bike what do you call those oh uh, we call them um stationary bikes I I bought one several years ago and then I uh of course that was around the time when I was overweight. I almost never had exercise. So I bought it. I used it off and on, but I never really got into it. Now, if I still had that bike, which I don't anymore because I left it behind. Um, if I were to still have that bicycle, I'd still probably be using it right now. Like right now, I'd be using it far more than when I did at the time when I got it.
I don't even know how much I paid for it, but it's surely a lot less than a um, than a stairmaster for sure. Stairmaster, there could be like a thousand bucks at least or something. At least. You can go upwards to like a few thousand dollars too. Of course, it has its limitations, but yeah. I'm glad I got like a um, kind of like a pull up bar thing, which ironically, I haven't been doing pull ups because I can't yet. And I did try doing the. Uh, oh, it's a type of like thing where you got to get up top of the bar and then you kind of slow, slowly lower yourself down. I have to be careful with that because. I get hurt from it on my shoulder. Not like real bad, but it just irritates it and I put a lot of strain on my arms. So, and I have to get used to like getting up on that height and stuff and doing that because it kind of scares me shitless to get up on that height and then slowly lower myself down. And I don't have that, mu that much control either with my arms to like, lower my stuff down properly so I don't go too fast on it. Also, did it Serpent's Kiss just gave me a freaking black heart? Excuse me? Wait a minute. I thought they uh, completely fixed it to where you can't even get black hearts anymore for that. Did they change it? Because there's, there's, there's no other way I would have got a black heart. Maybe Serpent's Kiss does work. Or maybe they changed something in the last patch. To where it's like, oh, we made a mistake. Well, that's cool. I don't know what the chances are to get in the black heart. It's probably a lot less than what it used to be, but still, that's that's pretty significant. Yeah, because I don't have the... Uh, The one poison, um, poison thing, poison touch item. Maybe you have to, there's a chance when they die with it that they get it. That could be it. The poopy scoopy. Hey, it's the poopy list scoopy. The scoopy poop. I hear that, like, evident. Well, this is an issue. What's going on here? What's with the shop? Ancient recall. Why not? The world curd. See, I would have ne never suspected that the thing's, like, right there. Well, I guess I would have suspected eventually, but I'd be, like, looking elsewhere for. Elsewhere. Elsewhere for where the sicker room could be. All right. I guess we're sitting okay here for now. But yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that, that the stair lift thing would uh, benefit me with my running. Surely it should. I mean, I'm building muscles I haven't used in a while. I can feel it in my glutes too about like, all that work at I'm doing. Look at this photograph. Every time I look at it, it makes me laugh. We'll just do this. There we go. I'm getting impatient. Angel deal. The bebble. We could take advantage of this. Now, winter is going to be coming pretty soon. And the problem with winter is, of course, it's cold and it's slick and everything. So, I'm going to be running outside. 
Well. That's pretty good there. Um, the answer is maybe. Like, I might do some running outside, depending on the conditions, you know, if everything's scooped up, cleaned up, whatever, to where there's enough of a path. And I think I might do a combination of that and running on a treadmill at my uh, gym. But I'm not going to fully rely on the gym because of uh, limited hours. Now, I don't really have to worry too much about people using up all the treadmills or anything because that's kind of a rare thing that happens. Now, the lifting machines, like certain ones I want to use, there's only like one of each different kind of machines, so yeah, you kind of SOL until you have to wait for them to just get out of there. That's a different story with that. But at least there, they got like multiple like machines. Except for like, if one or two of them break down and then you only have like one left and then somebody's on there for like an hour or two or something crazy. Which is like a lot of running. Even for me, it's like, oh, you know. Unless I'm doing a marathon, like, I'm not doing that. I'm not touching that many, that much time on a machine like that. Or if I was overweight, I'm trying to get, like, lose it all or something, but. You're just not giving me everything, anything, huh? Except maybe these cards and stuff, which, whatever, but. Took everything from me. Sir, this is a Starbucks. You want your order or what? You took everything from me. You took my unicorn flavored. Oh, you're not unicorn flavored. My unicorn themed drink from the menu years ago. And you didn't bring it back yet. What happened? I need that for my Instagram. Which nowadays would be like TikTok. Guys, check out this cool thing. Check out this one cool trick that Starbucks, that Starbucks employees hate to make. I never had any of those like comical special drinks or anything. Except for like maybe this pistachio drink and like the hot chocolate one, which they they weren't bad, but the problem was like a bunch of sugar and stuff. Pistachies. Gotta get this this pistachies. Never really had tea there though. And I hear about the, like the secret menu stuff. It's like, oh yeah, did you know about, you know, you can get the secret drink on the menu and stuff. It does like yeah, like any like almost any other kind of big chain restaurant or whatever place. That's nothing new. Yeah, but I want a big old cup of sugar. See your stars card, strength card. Eh, I guess we go. Hey, you got a devil deal item. Get them, boys. Low Abaddon. Like something I would not have suspected of getting here, honestly. Like one of the worst familiars of old familiars. Well,. Probably, yeah, one of the worst. I mean, it surpasses Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie. And Abel. And some other ones I probably can't really, like, list right now, but... This is the top three worst ones. 
Yeah, he lists your two thirds spun. That's spun. What the hell am I thinking? You're one third um, conjoined. Yeah, I guess that's true. But at what cost? Also, we're almost like to boss rush. What the hell? Let's just get there. Oh my god. Really? Oh, okay. Surprise. What's with these rooms? Alright, yeah. Just get right in there. There we go. I'm assuming I'm going the right... Nope. Uh-huh. You thought you were going the right way, huh? What makes you think that? See, there it is. Black heart right there. Confirmed. Definitely not little Aunt, little Abaddon's doing there. That's for sure. There we go. We found it. All right. And we got to kill mom fast enough. That's if we don't get a devil deal and everything. I'm not skipping it just for like some weird shit. All right. Let's go, go, go. We're just going to just pop that and just go to town with her. Little Abaddon sucks. Oh, I got hit. There we go. So I guess if you poison them and then you kill the enemy, then it gives you the heart. All right, we're going to check in there. Frick yeah, bud. Uh, let's just take this, I guess. Ryan tomato the hell out of here. Oh, thick old thick boy. It's thickums. His name is Thickums. He's here for the Pickums. Alright, let's try to stay alive because one thing with having red hearts is another where it's like, oh, you can only get soul hearts and black hearts. That would probably do us a lot of good with damage, but I don't want to pull the yeet chain right now. <laughs> I did that accidentally. All right. I should have just used the Hayman card. Oh, super ultra giga chain uh, rock. I saw that itty bitty X. See, I didn't even need mods to check to see if it's there or not. I am so cool. Let's pop this now. I can't I see. They need to do something with the shield where I can see it with dark characters. Tears up. All right. And we got to the other side. I'll be damned. What you got for me, buckaroo? I can hear that rain. All right. So we got that. So that's like apply to you. Oh, look at that. More damage. I think it did. I think it applied. So we're two thirds BS above, so that's two thirds flying. Health does not look like okay right now. Well, we're getting a wad of cash. Oh yeah, mom's box, that's right. That's why we've been getting a wad of cash. Okay. Uh, I didn't even go to my shop. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, little dude. There we go. I screwed that up. And that. There we go. Hey, look at that. And our shop is going to be a shop. All right, let's go check it out. I get out that rain. I mean, we do need the rain, but... Funny we had rain last Saturday and then had rain this Saturday. And there might be some rain tomorrow. 
flies. All right. The shops are looking a little strange. I don't think I have any mods on whatsoever. Okay, so chaos doesn't really do much good at this point. That can count to two thirds spun. A uh, spun, but uh, you know what I mean. I mean health. I think we'd get the health here. BFF is uh, a must, especially thickums here. And the battery, yeah. That's not a bad haul there. That's going to give us some survivability. All right, down the next floor. Actually, you know what? We can go to the curse room for free, essentially. Maybe there is something in here. A oh, reverse hayman is not one of those. Okay. What else has been going on today? Well, let's see. Got up this morning fairly early. So that's good. I'm kind of feeling it right now. I mean, it makes sense because I went running today. So I'm tired. Duh. So I got to eat some broccoli tonight. And then brush my teeth, shower, go to bed, essentially. And repeat the cycle, man. All right. A six room. Oh, but you got something for me, a trap door, huh? I remember this thing used to just suck. Epicac. <laughs> of all damn things. Yeah, I'm absolutely taking Epicac. I know it's dangerous, but fuck it. It's been a long time since I had an Epicac run. That's beautiful. I mean, I probably didn't need the damage. Let's see in hell, little guy. It'll save me on my bombs. Oh, fantastic with that room. I'm just going to have to be extra careful. Uh, let's see. I keep seeing stuff about Halo Infinite coming up, and I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. I know about all that. Yes, I know about Bonnie Ross leaving. I know about... Somebody did an eight-player co-op thing. Holy shit. I like how I got a fly item and I had no idea it was going to be a fly item. I just rolled it. They see, now we're flying blindly. I guess the uh, item description thing would be useful for this dice, but... Yeah. Well, now that we lost our sense of protection there... You know what's our sense of protection now? Hippocac. Wait until we get conjoined. Old baby. Uh, pen? Double pen. Double dipped. Yes, we can fly. That's right. What was I, what was I thinking? It's like, why am I stuttering here? You give me all this money, but like, no health here. All right. Wowzers, because you didn't ask, silly goose. I've seen that Microsoft has some like updates with their Gamer Pass stuff. It's like, oh, look at that, Assassin's Creed Odyssey or whatever it's called. I actually thought about buying that game years ago, but then I was looking more into it, and it was like 
Oh wow, you have to do those side missions and da da da. It's just basically grinding. It's like, nah, I'm gonna just skip on that. The little aspect of things. Thanks, but no thanks. Like, I'm, I haven't really been big on, like, Assassin's Creed or anything. I think it's interesting in its own regard, but it's just... I'm I'm not really big on platformers too much. Like, I've done some platforming games over the years, but... That's back in the early days of, like, gaming. You know, the PlayStation 1 games and stuff like that. I mean, Pokemon Coliseum, like, that was annoying. I just wanted the Pokemon battles. I didn't care about running around and trying to talk to this person or that person and try to figure out how to progress the next storyline. I did care about stealing all people's Pokemon. Yeah, evidently I used a uh, cheat engine thing back in the day. And I went around stealing everybody's Pokemon, not just the, the dark ones you're supposed to capture and convert. I also was doing that with everybody else's stuff. So I was essentially like Team Rocket. It's like, yeah, they're mine. Goodbye. No refunds. LOL. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to take that because it's black heart. All right, down next floor. We're doing okay here. I hope it's getting slowly better. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the 404 error guy. All right. Just don't shoot some Ipecac tears at me. That's my job. Really? Numbers, cards, whatever. Wheel of Fortune is whatever. I mean, I've done Tomb Raider before. Like, I've... I've played a little bit of that when I was, like, much younger. But then it was, like... A wild Tomb Raider. Hoo -hoo. Uh, well, let's just harm it out. I mean, it was like PS1 Tomb Raider. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Haha. Uh -huh. And then I was done with it. All right. I'm still kind of just waiting on, uh, you know, Halo Infinite. You make some Forge betas, yay! Our Forge beta stuff. Yeah, I could. I mean, it looks a lot easier to use than what it used to be back in the day where you just have to painstakingly... Oh, hello there, Satan. Speed and shot speak would do better than that. Oh, that's not too terrible. Okay. This is where I get choked up a little bit here is these damn eyeballs with like everything going on here. Oh. Leave me the rod in peace. And I think this does count as conjoin. This is a risk. Yeah. Oh, what have I done? I was not thinking. <laughs> there you go for fucking it up. Oh boy, here we go. You sure just kept the book? You stayed out of trouble, kid. 
Wow, as long as we just hit it in a certain kind of way, there's no worries. And we got scapular. So if anything goes wrong, we're okay. As long as we pick up the thing instead of like scrambling to pick it up. Like it's like a coin for like the anointed keeper or something. It's like, I gotta grab the key, the coin, and then I die. That's happened a multitude of times. That actually went pretty well. All right. I'm gonna say this way. Magic eight ball. I think. Okay, where the fuck's my uh, scapular payout? Excuse me. I'm taking that. <laughs> That's my second one. I taken that because of health. Because scapular did not pay me out. I don't know why it did not. It's some. Um, she just did it. It just did it again. Is it because like I'm Dark Judas or something? Is that the deal? The game is just hating on me right now. It's like, oh, you're doing so well right now. Oh, fuck. And now you know. <laughs> wow, I think that's a good sign to just end things here, I guess, tonight. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.